Hi there! Today we're going to take a look at decision making in Java programming. In particular we're going to take a look at selection statements. And one of the selection statements we're going to take a look at is if statements. In order to fully understand if statements and decision making in general we have to understand decision making logic. So we'll take a quick look at that first, then we'll move on and we'll look at if statements, we'll have a look at if else statements, and then finally if, else if and else statements. And then we'll take a particular look at some of the Boolean operators that are going to be required to solve problems using each of these statements. But first, let's, let's take a look at. But first, let's take a look at th some decision-making logic. Take, for instance, a decision we might make if we were driving to Carlow Town. Would we take the motorway or the national road? And our decision is going to depend on whether there's a traffic jam on the motorway or not. So here in the diamond, we have, is there a traffic jam on the M7 or 9? If the answer is no, then we're going to enter the motorway, exit at junction 4 for Carlow, and then continue through the roundabout into Carlow Town. If, however, there is a traffic jam on the M7 or 9, we're going to take the National Road to Nace, turn left after Kilcullen, and turn right in Castle Dermot for Carlow before continuing through the roundabout into Carlow Town. So our decision is all based on this condition here represented by the diamond and typically if you're thinking about decision making logic this is one way that you might plan that or you might map it out using this diagram. So your decision would go in the diamond and then your different um, actions dependent on the decision will come in the boxes that follow. If we take a look at an even simpler example what if a student gets a perfect score on a test? we may want to then print a message to the student telling them they got a perfect score. So here our decision is, is the quiz score equal to 10? If it is, we're going to output, this is a perfect score, and then continue with the rest of the program. Or if it's not, if it's false, then we're going to just continue with the rest of the program. So we can have a very simple decision where there's really only one true condition and then the other false condition just continues on with the rest of the program. What this would look like in code is if quiz score equals equals 10 system.out.print this is a perfect score. Okay so you'll see the syntax here of an if statement just a simple if statement. We use the keyword if with the lowercase i so watch out for that then we have our condition which goes in the round brackets. So inside the round brackets we'll often have a variable name and we'll be testing that for some sort of condition. And in this case we're testing if that is equal to the value 10. Now you'll see we've used two equal signs and this is the first Boolean operator we're going to see here. The two equal signs test for equality and the reason we have to have two is because one equal sign and you've seen this in previous examples is used for assignment. So if we use just one equal sign there it's going to assign the value 10 to quiz score instead of testing if quiz score contains the value 10. So we need to watch out for that. And then we open our curly brackets and then we close our curly bracket at the end and everything between those curly brackets is the action that's carried out if the condition is true. As with everything, it's probably easiest if we take a look at this using a coded example. 